It's Thursday, November 5th. I'm Sophie Kamarudin, and these are the stories moving Malaysia. Whether injury or just old age, our next guest may have the solution for anyone who's ever complained about knee pain. Dr. Saw K. Yang, consultant orthopedic surgeon at the Kuala Lumpur Sports Medicine Center, is a pioneer in stem cell therapy for articular cartilage injury, injuries, and he joins us now on set. Seems like I have an injury when I talk about that word. Um, so you're clearly trying to do exciting things, raising investment uh, behind the type of stem cell therapy you're designing. So clearly there is interest and backing for the future of this technology. What are you foreseeing? Um, let me explain a bit more about what we do. I mean, um, articular cartilage, a lot of people don't know. It's actually, <laughs> it's actually the, the lining that covers mm -hmm. the ends of the bone and that provides, for example, a knee joint. It provides a smooth gliding so surface. So when, when it wears away? When it wears away, the underlying bone gets exposed and that's where individuals will feel pain and swelling, basically. And there are many people who could potentially fall uh, victim to this. Uh, age yes. is not a factor here. So how does stem cell therapy then play a role? Yeah. For example, if elderly patients have got cartilage injury, then a total knee replacement works very well. But I'm talking about younger individuals. Mm -hmm. Sporting individuals in the 20s, in the 30s or 40s have got cartilage injury. Because the body do not heal those lesions, those lesions are exposed. So current technology internationally has got difficulty in fixing those lesions. So what we have is actually a, a stem cell technology where we do keyhole surgery and we drill into the cartilage defects, harvest patients' blood stem cells and then inject into the knee joint and together with physiotherapy we can then build on the various layers of cartilage. And you know, we've done a lot of work on that, we've done a lot of publications on that and the latest publication this month is actually showing the fact that we can actually rebuild the cartilage mm -hmm. equivalent to 95% of a normal cartilage score. So that's as, almost as good as a, a normal cartilage. So that's on the technical side of things, but on the scaling up side of the yep. business, how are you attempting to do that? I mean, to move forward, um, a lot of my colleagues who visit us from the States, from Europe, they want to bring this technology to their own country. For example, in the US, and I've got a patent in the US for this technology. So my colleagues in the US can't be allowed to do that unless the FDA gives them approval. So a year ago, we've got a clearance from the US FDA to start a phase 2B trial. Mm -hmm. And with our Malaysian government having some interest in, in our stem cell company, we are now looking at funding, you know, the Malaysian side of the trial is almost, we have enough fund to fund the Malaysian side, but in the US side, we're going to raise funds in the US to, so, to fund that trial. So the $4.2 million that you raised, that was for the Malaysia trial? Um, the Malaysian side would need about 7 million ringgit to do that, but to do the whole trial will cost us something like 20 million US dollars. And we are going to fund that via a private placement memorandum in the States. And that's what we are, we are moving forward towards that. And what kind of timeline are you anticipating for this? Um, hopefully in the next six months, you know, we can get some funds for that. So the Malaysian side of the trial will start first. And then moving forward, the American side will start. But the American side is not ready yet. Mm. The lab is not ready yet, you know. So once that's ready and the funding is there, then we can start doing that. Now, the important things about the US FDA trial is that, um, you know, everybody looks at the USA for the authority for evidence-based medicine. So if, if we have approval from the FDA, then really, you know, the rest of the world can then look at this technology. Okay, while you're still waiting on that uh, platform to take off, the US side of things, what can medical tourism perhaps do for you here, especially when it comes to the stem cell therapy? Well, there's a lot of medical tourists already coming to KLSMC for cartilage work. So if you look at the last six weeks, you know, every week I've got patients from different parts of the world and coming mainly for stem cell work for their cartilage or for tendinitis and things that in their own country they have difficulty finding solution for. And that's what we have, that this Malaysian technology actually, you know, it's, it's good enough, you know, to, to be, uh, you know, a, a worldwide uh, uh, innovation. Will you be deploying this technology elsewhere in the region? Um, at the moment, we'll focus on the US because with a US patent and the FDA approval, then it's protected so in it the US. So it sets the benchmark as well. Yeah, and also it's protected in the US. So it's difficult to go to the rest of the world when it's not protected. You know, IP is not protected, and whereas in the US, IP is protected. And also, the US is a huge market. So start from the US first before you go anywhere else. Now, as you say, it's a huge market. What kind of um consumer market size are you looking at here? 
I think if you look at the total joint replacement market, you know, you're talking about you know billions of, of dollars per year, and and these are patients who migrate from younger patients with cartilage injury. When they get older, they go into joint replacements. You know, and how old is this? Uh, how expensive is this therapy? Um, if you look at international point of view, you think about you know fixing some cartilage problem will be somewhere around ten to twenty thousand US dollars. You know, it's actually quite cheap. In, from the international point of view. Okay, well, thank you so much for sharing uh, with the potential behind your stem cell therapy. Good luck, and in six months' time, you got to come back and tell us how it went. Right, thank yep. you so much. That was Dr. Sa Kei Young, consultant orthopedic surgeon at the Kuala Lumpur Sports Medicine Center.